And my favorite one, which was, um, you know, the luxury market's huge. You've got all this data, tons of data on how yeah. the size and how yeah. much is in the U.S. And then one of the VCs is like, you know, mm, I just don't think the luxury market's that big. I'm like, oh, really? Why? Where's your, where's your data source? Uh -huh. Oh, you know, it's a... It's sort of a melange of information. <laughs> All right, and the truth is, he had set up a pickup for his wife, uh -huh. and his wife only wore yoga pants and juicy. So, and he's like, well, I still think it's like, well, because his wife, because that's how the early stage VCs are. Uh -huh. My wife doesn't, isn't gonna be able to do this, so therefore the market doesn't exist. Right. It's like, uh, yeah. Anyway, and okay. then and then the other thing he came back with like, oh, I don't know about this whole things don't have their own. I like that your many voice. I like no, because it's like that's how he talked. Because uh, he'd sit back, because you know they sit back because they know everything and uh, or VCs know everything. Yeah, they do. Okay. They do, and some of them have been more right than wrong. Right. Um, but anyway, he's like, you know, luxury space. I don't know. And then he went, went on this whole thing about. Um, Oh God, now I lost my train of thought. Where was I? But it was a good one. He was, he was, it was good. All right. But, um, oh, and authentication wasn't important because you know no one cares about fakes. I'm like, fraud is a huge issue. People do care about fakes. Mm -hmm. And now the same one has invested in a resale company and writing articles about the power and the importance of authentication. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> that's all right. Just get behind me, boys, because right. I'm, I've been there before you got there. All right. I'll be there when you're dead. Okay, all right. <laughs>